a choreographed demonstration of Xi Jinping's growing strength. At a meeting of China's parliament, legislators endorsed decisions made by the Communist Party. Only a handful of delegates voted against any of the proposals. Here, the point is to portray harmony, not debate or dissent. Virtually everything that happened this week was very tightly scripted. In fact, it's hard to think of anything at all that happened that wasn't expected. But that reveals something important about how the Communist Party and Xi Jinping have expanded their control over the state. At this closing session, delegates passed a law tightening party control over the government cabinet. The proposal passed 2,883 to 8. The cabinet is led by Premier Li Chang. That position has been weakened to the extent that Li's annual press conference this week was canceled. The Premier really uh, has increasingly been playing a more of a coordinated role. So in that sense, actually, it's a little awkward for Mr. Li to come out and be asked questions on the full gamut of things when he cannot speak with as much authority on it. Instead, the authority lies with Xi, who appears set to rule China indefinitely. And what she wants is a continued emphasis on national security, especially amid a slowing economy. When there are fewer jobs uh, in particular uh, available, clearly many people are becoming frustrated. And of course, that means that the leadership and the leaders of really across the uh, hierarchy of the Chinese party state are much more aware of the challenges and trying to preserve stability. This week, delegates passed several measures expanding punishments against those who threaten the party's rule. China calls this whole process democracy. It's also a system that is increasingly ruled by just one man. Bill Gallo, BOA News, Beijing.